in the in these cycles, there's there are short term cycles that build up to create a long term cycle. So, uh, for example, we're used to uh, what's commonly called the business cycle or the short term debt cycle, in which there's a recession when economic weakness is is economic weakness and low inflation, and then the central bank provides credit. And that stimulates activity. And then you have the pickup and the good time in the economy. But then it raises inflation and tightness and so on. And then they create tight money. And then you go through the contraction again and so on. So since 1945, there have been 12 and a half of those cycles. On average, they're about seven years long, give or take about three years. Um, so if you say, OK, where are we in that cycle? We're in the business cycle. We're about halfway through. We're in the part of the cycle where the tightening of monetary policy to fight inflation begins to cause the cracks. And and that's where we are. OK, now those add up to a big cycle because um, debt rises relative to incomes through that because everybody wants the higher up. And so they just keep doing that. And so we have a lot of um, debt assets and debt liabilities. Um, uh, you know, we think of there's there's a debt that you owe, but one man's debt is another man's assets. And so you have to keep interest rates high enough that it compensates for inflation for holding it. Because if you don't, nobody's going to then want to lend and you have a problem. But you have to have interest rates not so high that they crack the economy. And so when you have debt, a lot of debt assets and a lot of debt app liabilities, having that balancing act is not easy. And so because we had the imbalance, the central banks of the world had to come in there and be buyers. They had to print money and buy that debt to make a balance at an acceptable interest rate. 